So in a previous video, I shared with you what's on my Android phone, featuring this setup on my McLaren Edition OnePlus 6T. I had asked for 3,000 likes just to see if you guys really, really wanted a tutorial. And needless to say, you guys smashed that like goal and surpassed 3,000 a lot faster than I anticipated. But as promised, here we go with the tutorial for how I got the setup the way you saw it in that video. So for starters, you're going to want to download Nova Launcher and most importantly, Nova Launcher Prime if you really want to get things exactly like mine. Once you've done that, you'll be prompted to choose a layout. You can choose whatever you want, but to speed up the process, you can go with Use Defaults. Next, let's go into the Settings, select Home Screen, Desktop Grid, and set that to 9x5. Then go to Icon Layout. I set my icon size to 105%. You can change this and the grid to whatever you'd like, of course. And then after that, I disabled the icon labels. This is to make the home screen look a little cleaner and it really lets the icon pack stand out. Speaking of icon packs, let's go ahead and set that next. My current favorite and the one I chose for this setup is the Moxie icon pack. So go ahead and download that. And while you're at it, grab the Candy Cons icon pack too. Once you've downloaded those, head back into Nova Launcher settings, go to look and feel, icon style, icon theme and choose the moxie icon pack now in the look and feel settings go ahead and tap on animation and then hit blink let me know if you guys remember this one i didn't have this one on the 6t because i did forget to set it but it's something i stuck with on my pixel 3 setup i guess i use it because it's just a nice rush of nostalgia something else i didn't have on the 6t setup thanks to the notch was the removal of the status bar. So if your phone doesn't have a notch like the Note 9 here, the look and feel settings is also where you'll find the toggle to disable it if you'd like. Alright, real quick, go back into the main settings page and we're going to set night mode to automatic. Now this will switch between a light and a dark theme based on the time of day. You can set that to whatever you'd like and you can choose what you'd like that to affect. Next we're going to clean up the home screen a little bit so go ahead and get rid of this google search bar and all those dock icons. Then let's go back into Nova settings, home screen, scroll down, hit page indicator and select none. Scroll back up and hit dock padding and slide the right slider all the way up to the top. Now let's go to app drawer, scroll down to gestures and enable swipe to open and close. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we're not going to use an app drawer icon in the dock and we need a way to access the app drawer. After that you can swipe back up and change the background color to black. Then you can scroll back down and set the accent color to orange. Now this is the color I used to match the orange accents on the McLaren 6T but of course you can set that to whatever you'd like. Now one of the biggest reasons I use Nova Launcher is for the ability to use folders in the app drawer. At the bottom of app drawer settings, go to drawer groups, make sure you're on the folders tab, hit the plus button in the upper right hand corner and create your folders. Now once you name them, you can go ahead and add all of the applications you want to that folder. This is the best way to keep your app drawer clutter free and organized. All right, so now let's set up some widgets. For this, you're going to want to get KWGT and KWGT Pro. Pro does cost a few dollars, but if you're a customization freak, you'll find it is totally worth it. After that, you're going to want to grab the widget skins. Download Huck, Outline, and Foxy for KWGT. Now that you've got your widgets, let's set them up. You long press on the home screen, hit Widgets, scroll down to K, drag and drop one onto the home screen, resize it based on how big you'd like the widget to be, then tap on it, scroll through the intro, select Huck, and the widget we're looking for is number 23. This is where you can really tweak the widget to your liking, but for the sake of the video, we'll keep things minimal and just make minor adjustments if needed. Once you're done, hit the save button up top, and you'll be good to go. Go ahead and do the same for the Google search widget, only this time instead of Huck, select outline and look for widget number 52. By default, tapping on the widget will bring you to Google search, but I have mine set up to open the actual Google application. To do this, go back into the KWGT editor, select overlap group, select touch, tap here, hit launch app and choose the Google application. 
Oh, and make sure to hit the save button whenever you make changes. After that, you can take your eight most used applications and or folders and line them up underneath the search bar. Now let's turn our attention to that widget at the bottom. Go ahead and load up another KWGT widget and place it on the left side of the dock. What you're looking for is Huck widget number 58. Now under the layer section, this is where you can adjust the scale of the widget. And under the item section, selecting both items will let you adjust the widget positioning. As for changing what the widget says, tapping on the first item, then on the text column will lead here. This is where you've got preset formulas for what you want displayed, like battery info, current weather forecast, system info, and much more. By default, the current time in text form is set, but in my setup, I chose to write my brand name. This is where a lot of people like to put their own name. You don't need a special formula for this, so just erase the default one and enter in whatever you'd like it to say. After that, you can change other things like the font, font size, the alignment, as well as the filter. Now the same procedure goes for the rest of the text below the header, so have fun with that making it your own. On the other side of the dock, I have this folder, and in this folder I have all of my Google applications. So you know how you made folders in the app drawer? Go ahead and drag whatever folder you like from there down to the dock. We'll just use the Google one for example. Now this is where the candy cons icon pack comes into play. Long press on the folder, tap edit, hit the folder icon, go to candy cons, scroll down to the folder section and select which icon you like. After that, tap the swipe action menu and select first item in folder. The first item in this folder in my setup is the play store. So when I tap on the folder, it opens up normally, but when I swipe up on it, it'll open up straight to the play store. It's super convenient. Now that we're on the topic of folders, let's jump back into the Nova Launcher settings, go to folders, window style, change the mode to immersive. I usually change the background color to something darker. For some reason, I have the corner DP set to 14 and the grid size is set to six by four. And I also like to mess around with the folder icon appearance and change it to the teardrop style just for a different look. Next widget is this music player. It's the same procedure for the previous KWGT widgets. This time you'll be looking for Foxy widget number 57. Then you'll want to go into KWGT settings and select your preferred music player. Mine is Spotify. Next are the two widgets on the left screen. Set up another KWGT and look for outline widget number 34. In my setup, I changed the text to a quote. You can change it to whatever you'd like, of course. A similar procedure to the previous widgets, hit text, scroll down to stack group and edit the text to your liking. Underneath this widget, I've got good old month calendar widget. So go ahead and grab that from the Play Store and add the widget to your home screen, resize it, open up the app and choose a skin. Closing out the video with a couple more things, the wallpaper, you can find that in the description, but on top of that, I've got rain paper. You can pick that up in the Play Store. It is paid, but trust me, as of right now at least, you will not find a better alternative for getting rain effects on your home screen. All you have to do is select the live wallpaper in the wallpaper chooser, you tap the settings icon up top, choose a background image, you can adjust the settings in customization if you'd like, then hit activate and set wallpaper. Then the other two things are the Google feed, you can find a link to that in the description, all you have to do is download and install it, you might have to restart Nova Launcher to activate it, and lastly, you could add unread counts as well. This can be found in the Play Store, and after you install it, you can customize them in the settings under notification badges. So there you have it guys, that concludes the tutorial for this home screen setup. I hope you all enjoyed it and were able to get something out of it. If so, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Anyway, that does it for me. I will talk to you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching.